Hello, and welcome to the August edition of Signal Boost. I'm your host, Callie Pruitt, Senior Strategist for Grassroots Advocacy in the APS Office of Government Affairs, and here's your science policy update. Last month, the APS Office of Government Affairs put out a call to our members asking them to share their stories about the importance of J-1 visas and optional practical training, or OPT. We ask that stories be personal, detail-driven, and specific in reference to their own experiences or the experiences of their colleagues or students. To be honest, this effort was an experiment, but we thought it was worth it to pull as many of these stories together as we could so that we could make a strong case in support of J-1 and OPT to the State Department, the agency that has ultimate determination of these programs. Well, as they have before, APS members delivered. We received more than 120 personal letters from APS members, ranging from students and early career physicists to professors and even a Nobel laureate. We could not be more thrilled with this result, and we can't thank each of you who shared your story with us enough. We'll be compiling and sharing these stories with our contact at the State Department, and we'll continue to work hard to preserve these programs. In other grassroots news, we also saw great support last month for the RISE Act a piece of legislation that would authorize supplemental funding for grant extensions, which would enable the completion of disrupted research, support training extensions to shield grad students and postdocs from the unpredictable job market, and allow the replacement or refurbishment of lab equipment. APS OGA once again put out a call to members to sign letters and send tweets to their members of Congress in support. And more than a thousand members did so over three separate campaigns, leading to more than 2,800 direct contacts to Congress in support of the RISE Act. This show of support in such an unpredictable time is truly unique and special. Thank you again to our members who acted in support of science and research relief efforts. Next up, OGA has a new team member, Charlotte Selton, who was spotlighted on the APS homepage this month for her new role as Special Projects Organizer for the Physicists Coalition for Nuclear Threat Reduction. In case you missed it in previous editions, the Physicists Coalition for Nuclear Threat Reduction is a new project funded by the APS Innovation Fund and the Carnegie Corporation in an effort to reach out to physicists in the United States and mobilize those interested in engaging on nuclear threat related issues. We are so excited that Charlotte has joined our team. If you'd like to read about her efforts and learn more about the coalition, you can find links to the article and the coalition in the website in the description. And finally, if you're an APS member who is a grad student or early career physicist, you may have seen an email in your inbox this month from APS that I wanted to ensure you take a closer look at. Depending on your unit memberships within APS, the email is from our Federal Relations Senior Associate, Nico Hernandez Charpak, FGSA or FEX, and it contains very important information on a survey of international students and experiences with visas. APS is gathering information on visas and international student experiences to bolster our research on the subject, which will enhance our advocacy efforts. Because of its importance to the function of our office and advocacy, I encourage you to make your voice heard. There is a separate survey going out to physics department chairs concerning applications and enrollments of domestic and international grad students that continues our research from previous years. If you can't find the email or you accidentally deleted it, you can find a link to the surveys in the email summary provided. That's all for this edition of Signal Boost. Have a healthy and safe month and I'll see you next time.